billion dollar question how to find the perfect career for yourself well this question has been asked probably a million times to me so i said okay let's make a video which will answer all the questions related to perfect career now basically speaking frankly speaking there is no such thing as perfect career but definitely a career which will suit you but at the same time reward you with a lot of money and at the same time grow as you grow in your career right so that is what i'm going to answer this particular video now first things first at times it can be very uh, you know highly overwhelming upsetting and confusing which particular field to choose so for example if you are a biotechnologist you are trying to choose okay should i go into research should i go into wet lab dry lab which should i go into bioinformatics should i go into something else same with the chemistry guy he is like should i go into pharma should i go into a paint company should i go into uh, you know formulation development or manufacturing or sales marketing so a lot of a plethora of opportunity exists which one will be perfect for me right so i'm going to give you some key pointers using that you can choose and decide so please take a pen and paper so that from now on it is going to be a thinking while writing pro procedure or exercise so that you finally at the end of this end of this video come to a conclusion without any bias okay now the first thing which you have to analyze the point number 1 is education and skills right what education you have right now and what are the skills that you have right now the second question which you have to ask under this heading is what kind of education i can acquire more and what kind of skill set i can require acquire more without spending much of the money so that's the point which you which i'm making under education and skill set what are what is my current scenario and what i can acquire right now the second one demographics now where do i stay and what is the situation in that area now for example if you are if you are a housewife in a a city where there is no uh, industry around you you may not be able to get industry job right so that is where demography comes into picture so what is the demography around me which location i am what kind of jobs are easily available available around me which is growing or which will grow and can i in any case move out of this place to go to a new place where i can get more opportunities especially for uh, people who are just getting started with their career always move out okay always move out to a place which has got more opportunities because it doesn't make sense see i was born in a very small city almost like a village in bihar and today i am here in bangalore because i moved out i knew that i will not get any kind of biotech or pharma or chemistry job there so i moved out that is where so you have to decide on the demography and then act on it right and then of course this demography of what kind of uh, ethnicity is there what kind of uh, jobs i you know the location and suppose like if you are in the north bangalore you may get a different uh, type of biotech companies south bangalore so within a city also all of this matters so demography and location matters what kind of people are around you are they going to encourage all of that you have to keep in mind now the third step will be identifying market demand so you have to understand that there is a trend and there is a tradition there is a hype trend and tradition for example uh, 20 years ago there was there was a huge cry that okay clinical research is going to generate a lot of jobs which didn't happen but that is where it was a hype hype created by some people now you have to significantly understand what is a hype what is a trend what is a tradition now crispr is a trend bioinformatics is a tradition right so we don't know if crispr will become a tradition of the future but definitely it's a trend gene therapy is a trend it may not become a tradition of the future some new thing will come ngs is a tradition so whatever gets adopted like rt pcr it's a tradition right so it's a proven model so identify the market demand and accordingly act research on the market demand understand the uh, hype trends and uh, traditions and then take feedback from your mentors because they will have better idea looking at the past data see nobody can you know predict the future but definitely with looking at the past data i can tell you that this is how it went so most probably it is this is how it will go on but definitely you have to be open to newer challenges and newer technologies now coming to the next point assessing growth potential now now that you know okay these are the things uh, this 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 is the point this is the city i should be this is these are the people this is this is the company i should be now ass assess the growth potential if if i'm getting into the rt pcr thing uh, diagnostic lab things is it going to grow if i'm getting into r and d is it going to grow if i'm get, getting into f and d is it going to grow if i'm getting into qqc is it going to grow so this is where industry growth rate you have to check so that also you can check very easily you can go to biotechnica or statista where all the industry growth rates are mentioned and then 
Next is salary projections. What kind of salary growth is there? Uh, like 10 years ago, if it was 10,000, has it doubled, has it tripled? So that salary projection you have to see for that industry. And then you have to see for the job availability. Is it available easily? What are the things you have to do? What are the certification you need to do? What kind of networking you have to do? What kind of, uh, um, you know, uh, online or personal, uh, offline personal branding you have to do? What kind of conferences you have to attend? All of that comes under the assessing the growth potential. Once you have that, you have to start reading a lot of industry news. And how do you do that? You have to stay in touch with Biotechnica and various other uh, online news portals on biotechnology or uh, Rasayanika for chemistry. And then, you know, even if you're a biotechnologist, you should read Rasayanika because there is a lot of uh, chemistry involved in biology, a lot of biology involved in chemistry. So that you have to do, read a lot of industry news, attend a lot of industry events, follow the thought leaders, listen to what they're saying. Okay, this person is talking about artificial meat. Okay, will it grow in the future? Is it a trend which will convert into a tradition? So you have to analyze, you have to be ready for that change, be ready to keep uh, looking for newer opportunities within the industry itself, right? Now you have done all of this, comes the last part, which is determining your personal strength and interest. Now you have to do some kind of skill assessment for yourself. Okay, what is the skill I have, I possess and is that skill relevant today or will it be relevant 10 years from today? Because you're not building a career for five, five years. You're going to build a career which is going to be durable, right? So skill assessment, then personality test that, okay, are you a person who wants to stand in the lab for 20, 12 hours or 14 hours a day? Or are you a person who likes to sit in front of computers? Or are you a person who likes to go out and meet strangers? So you have to look at that. Are, are you a person who likes to teach? So personality test. Then identifying your passion. Which particular subject is your passion? Is it microbiology? Is it biochemistry? Is it organic chemistry? Is it physical chemistry? Coordination chemistry? Is it structural bioinformatics? Is it computational biology? Is it bioinformatics? Cheminformatics? So find out what is your identity, your passion and then make passion your profession and rest everything will follow. So this is my concluding line. Make passion your profession. Everything else will follow. But at the same time, always analyze the previous points also which I gave you because that's how you will achieve a clarity on what you want to do and then you will be ready to achieve a perfect career. Remember, there's no such thing as perf perfect career, but definitely there should be a career which progresses, which is equally rewarding and which is not a trend which dies down down the road. road. Instead, it keeps growing for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead and see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.